then is that you have the liberty as a child, or I had the liberty, to have hopes and dreams of anything at all. I could, you know, dream up. And I was a very playful child. I loved playing. I loved sports. I used to run a lot. Um, and to the conversation about athletics, um, um, Sarah, I think it's such a shame that honestly in Ghana, we're letting sports people down, like f track and field. You know, my son is a sprinter and, y you know, say we used to always, we had to form a club to train him, to keep him trained. And now we put him in a school where he's being trained more. But we had to be his sports. And we all used to go together so that we're all this sports family to keep it. And that's, that's a shame. You know, and I think that to the point that was made, we need to do more. Because I found, and I know as a mother, sport is so important, any sport. Human beings need, we need the activity. It's, it's good for us. It's exhilarating. It's fun. And somehow we have kind of boxed sport, especially in Ghana. Hopefully in some other countries it's a bit different. But especially in sport, we really limited it to football largely in terms of the national conversation. And many of you here are journalists, and I keep imploring you when I speak to you one-on-one, -on -one, talk about other things. Own that niche. And, and that story again about the... I read it, and I was shocked. People are performing at an international level and they, they only did 44 points. Do you, have you run that race before yourself? <laughs> no, guys, I, I, I was a runner, so I know what it's like to run. You try run. My son's about to run 200 meters. He calls me and says, Mom, today my leg, I am like, focus. Just focus on that. This was just yesterday. Seriously. Just focus on that finish line. That leg is going to have to park today. We're not doing leg today. He came second in the race. Mm -hmm.